Hello and welcome back to my My Little Pony YouTube channel. This video is not intended for children to the age of 13 years old, and if the comments are set off, it's because YouTube did it, not me. My content, just so you know, YouTube, this is about chill, uh, toys and things meant for children, but this is intended for the adult collector or reviewers. So, yes, I'm here to talk about My Little Pony Generation 5's lackluster merchandise and toy lines, which have been really slacking over the last year or so, and why this concerns me so much for the future of My Little Pony Generation 5 as a franchise. Starting off from the first piece of merchandise we saw, it was a leaked image of, like, a bed set where it sewed three of our main characters, and it was so ugly that everyone assumed the movie would look like that, which is so sad. It is not that ugly. It's a very pretty movie, actually. And on that note, the merchandise I've seen more of than anything else. I've seen dresses. I have seen, um, like, back-to-school stuff, neat little things like that. And I have... But even that has dropped off in the last few months. In the new year, I have seen very little merchandise, which is part of where I'm growing concerned, because I used to at least see that even if the toys were waning, because I know there's something wrong with the toy supply chain. I'm not exactly sure what, I just know there has to be something wrong with it. So, I present to you the only images of toys I have, not toys, of merchandise from the past few months. There are two St. Patrick's Day stuff with Hitch. Side note, it's one some of the only areas where you see Hitch have re heavily advertised St. Patrick's Day merch from Claire's. So that's weird. And now we'll talk about the toys, which had a really rocky start. The toys had very lazy, they didn't seem very well thought out around the movies in a release. They had these little, like, figures based off the blind bag figures from the My Little Pony Life series. Like, they used the molds from that, but they recolored them for this. And all of them are pretty terrible merch for Gen 5 to start out on. Toys, as well. They have these... They don't really do brussables like previous generations. They have these, like, hard plastic hair ones. And then there's ones that are articulated and ones that aren't. The ones that aren't articulated are particularly ugly. I feel like they don't even have the play value of articulation behind them. And they're not very well done. I have seen some I do like. Um, there's this really, there's a specific line they had of slightly bigger ones with rooted hair, and they're really cute. I like them. They did those really well. They balanced all the proportions of Gen 5 in a very pleasant manner. They also have these little, like, minifigure ones, which are sort of like their version of the Pony Life figures, but way better. And I like these quite a bit. I have one of them. I got her for $2 on clearance. She was available at Walmart. There's, like, tons of her at one point. No one was buying these. It was weird. They have been really slacking on toy releases, and a lot of the new species aren't being properly capitalized on, such as the Breezies. Nothing yet which is sad. I was I gave it time, a lot of time, and they still haven't done anything. I know they did stuff with the dragons, one dragon, that's it. Um that's not Sparky, Sparkaroni. He's a pretty mad design toy-wise. I don't really like his toys, so some plussies. I'll lump these in around the bless the breastables and stuff. And I've seen a few like I have Zip and Izzy from Clearance. I didn't have any of the others. And I found these images of some other ones that are more so accurate, but somehow way more cursed, and I've never seen these in real life. So, like, damn. <laughs> they scare me. I'm gonna level with you. They scare me. But where were these? Have you even seen these things? That's a genuine question. I know it seems off topic, but, like, mm. And lastly, why I'm worried about the future of the show. My Little Pony Generations 4 wildly was very successful with its toys basically until the end. I'd say 2018, it was still going so strong. That was what funded the show's progress, the improvement in the animation and everything, and kept it going, and that is not something we're getting. And they've also teased things that aren't haven't been released, like there is a leak of Equestria Girls toys, and well... Uh, those concern. I was hoping we'd see Equestria Girls in Gen 5, and so far nothing at the time of recording this video. So that sucks, but I feel like this is a good enough discussion just to general thoughts. Um, Like, comment, and subscribe. Check out my other Milo Pony content. Bye!